Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, where we are playing the Kingdom of Siam. That is by far one of the most war-torn nations in the world, despite not having any enemies in their territory. I kid you not, this is our current situation. Yeah. Well, uh, we need to save Bangkok. So once we finish the battle in Nakhon Saban, we'll send our armies down to Bangkok. Hopefully they can beat through these small regiments and save themselves. Uh, good thing though that we had... Oh shit, we started it up. Uh, good thing that we had... Did we? Yeah, we had military uh, funding at top because this is just... Oh my god. Hold on, why are you... Going? I didn't want you to go. Okay, go here and then to Bangkok. Yo, how are you doing? Oh, it stops? It starts itself when you look at the battle. Let's see. Uh, well, we're being led by General Trung Kai. Both of our armies fighting there. Um, what about here? This is... Okay, this is safe. We can go here and get rid of these rebels. So, as always, our colonies are kind of peaceful. It's like the best territory ever. It's Siam that's being torn to pieces itself. <sighs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. And the British won't help because they hate my guts now once they transform their empire into a proletariat dictatorship. The British do are helping. Oh, they're helping because they hate communists. So that's good. Hmm. Should we be passive in this one? No. The population is just dying out due to taxation and yeah, not being able to do anything because they're dumb and they don't like stuff. Yeah, we can't take a loan anymore, so the problem is we'll start having terrifying budget deficits. Okay, the Dutch liberation of Hanover in East Friesland is now only with two nations. <laughs> North German Federation. <laughs> and Austria? Really? No, that's the other one. Austria, Danzig. How is Danzig doing? Danzig is actually independent. It has... It is, uh, you know, an en enclave or it is completely surrounded by Poland. So, that's fun. Uh, okay, so we're winning the battle here. We're winning the battle here. Okay, we've won here. The rebels are moving to the one per bunk, so we have to follow them. Siamist fascists have risen in here just where we need them to okay you guys go here will we be able to win this despite the fact that there are so many of them uh, we might um, but not by using just one of these armies. We'll need all of our armies. We desperately need to take Bangkok. Because if they take it, this is fucking over. It's, it's game over, man. It's just done. Come on. Kill them. I'm gonna go through Ventian to... Here. Okay, you're destroying them, that's good. And Yunnan is sending help. It's a good dude. So Ventian. 
Udon. No. Okay, this, 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 and Bangkok. Go. Okay, the Battle of Lopaburi is raging on, but we seem to be doing good. Yeah, I'm losing a ton of troops. Oh my god, the British! The British are saviors of the day! Might even be, ba be salvageable. Come on! Come on! Do it! Do it! Destroy these fools! Okay, the British liberated Bangkok. Or, well, it wasn't liberation. They destroyed uh, the enemies that were there, so... Good for us. We don't need to hurry down south anymore. Okay, so go here and then to Udantani. Come on, destroy these fools. First change my engineers. Yeah, out of 40, 33,000 people, some 14,000 are left. Isn't that just fun? Okay, we won and they are retreating. To where is my question? To where? To Nakon Rachisima. Oh my god, look at that! Great Britain sent 96,000 people to save us! I'm doing it! Okay, we have more communists uprising, but trouble in Laos. A recent riot in Savanashkar has brought a great deal of attention to Laos. That kind that would normally prompt the great powers to consider intervention. It seems, however, that the demand for independence by uncivilized people has largely fallen on deaf ears. News of the troubles have faded away as quickly as it began. Good. Okay, well... We ought to clear these guys, I guess. They're going to... Patani. No, we're going to Patani. They're going to rush to Buri. Uh, which is... where? Nakhon. Oh, hold on, the British are going there, so. We have elections in a war torn nation. Elections are the best way how to spend your pastime. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's October 41st. International crisis in Transvaal has failed to attract attention. Contentious elections, that's good. Wartime election, that's that's good. Our budget is completely fucked due to the Great War. Our factories are just... Are we bankrupting? I hope not. Okay, let the British do their job. And just rest. What it up to them? They came to help, so let's appreciate them for once. Actually, if I think I'm gonna lower an investment into military, soldiers need better food. Burmese patriots. Okay, that, that's a joke on the other hand, that's free regiment, so nothing to even worry about. All of these nations though, got war torn and loss of support. Fucking hell, the communists are just dicking with us. War dominates the election. Encourage the jingoists. Search of socialism, okay. Full citizenship. Okay, the British are really doing their job here, so I'm gonna send my armies up to the north. Okay, and once you are done here, I'm gonna go and destroy these guys. 
Oh, well, there's even Seeker in the territory. That's so... Wow, British are so cool. Threshing accident. Uh, not the issue. No, let's seek local, local support. Is it, I ask of this government, right that a man with a life of hard and honest work behind him should be left without aid or assistance merely on account of the whim of fate? A farmer in one of our states has had a near fatal threshing accident which has left him permanently disabled and disfigured. The case has been brought to the national scene in parliamentary debate over the Siamese pension system, where reform minded MPs have used the case as a bad with which to beat the government for not doing more to help the old and disabled. Sure, we want the trinket support. No, we need to lower the tariffs altogether. Okay, we're starting to make a bit of money. Hey, game over! Ah, 100 momentous years have passed and we have entered the modern age. The world is a radically different place. How did your country do? Well, we did well. Siam. <laughs> wow. I, would, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, so 1946 is the end of the game. So the world in 1946. Russia is the strongest uh, nation. Fraud by France. Republic of Britannia. Italy. Empire of Mexico, North German Federation, Spain, Japan, and the secondary powers are Austria, United States of America, Australia, Finland, Netherlands, the Free American Republic, which became um, obviously the communist dictatorship, Punjab, and Poland. Somehow Poland got all the way up to the secondary power status. CM has been for the sixth with a score of 489. But you guys know that it was just an accident, right? Um, if I didn't, you know, I could have taken a loan, but I was like, is it still broken? Or maybe I'm mistaken. Well, this is what happened. Uh, so we were doing kind of good. We had 2.6 million population in the end, 39 provinces, 36 factories, with the rest of 50%. 43 brigades and 43 warships, ideology mostly conservative, we had some socialists, some communists, some liberals, some separatists, fascists, reactionaries, and yeah, quite a lot of fascists and uh, communists, which is a big issue. And our workforce, mostly farmers, 11% craftsmen. Clergymen, 6% artisans, soldiers, and 20% laborers. So 51% of our people worked in the farms, 20% in the factories, 11 at home. And the ruling party was the royal faction. We were still HM's government, as it turns out. I thought we moved on to... No, we were originally with the Prussian, and now we were the HM governance. And technology is 104, and inventions 366. So, uh, let's see how many nations were... Okay, Prussian constitution was... Most, yeah, proletariat dictatorships, look at that. So many nations. So it's on Spain, Tunis, France, Bundelkhan, Sulawesi, New Zealand, Denmark, the Free American Republic, Colombia, Ireland, Netherlands, Baden, Panama, Haiti, Danzig, Hanover, Colombia, Canada, Lübeck, Poland, Algeria, and Egypt. I missed Egypt and Algeria completely. Fascist dictatorships, Japan, Austria, and Republic of Britannia, Ecuador, Newfoundland, Mongolia, Sint, Jaisaimer, Jaipur, Bikinir, the Confederate States of America, North German Federation, Malaysia, Awad, Paraguay, Turkey, Asimbodia. Quite a lot of democracies though, absolute monarchies the most. As the political reforms. No voting. Did someone have... Yeah. A lot of nations had universal voting. Upper house voting system. Proportional. Did someone have... Uh, one of the social reforms. Education. Public education. Elite only. Okay. Arts. Pollution. Yeah. Some people had pollution standards. That's interesting. Child labor, illegal in many states, healthcare, good healthcare, good pensions, generous subsidies, 
Excellent safety. And a lot of nations had an 8 hour workday too. We were really backwards, weren't we? Well, that's what you get for playing CM. And so I had fun. Uh, the game is awesome. They did an incredible amount of work on it in the mod. And I'm happy about that. And I'm going to go and publish another video where we are going to vote on what to play next. Because I actually want to do at least one more Let's Play of this game. Because it's so awesome and I'm having so much fun. Uh, watching and deploying it, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go and reinstall the mod so that uh, we have the latest version for the announcement video. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you had fun, and yeah, the glorious kingdom of CM is over. <laughs>